Prince Harry brought his signature hugs to his latest trip to Africa, where he advocated for greater educational opportunities for young women. I got a mega hug, said Angie Miramoa, who is executive director of Camp and co-founder of its alumni network CAMA, which empowers women through education in Zambia. He said, you are doing wonderful work, and keep it up. Miramoa, who previously met Mihan Markle in April in London, says of the Duchess, she has powerful energy as well. And she is really committed to getting this right and using their position and her powerful voice, to use it to spread the word that young people and women were doing this work to support others. These issues really resonate with him and her, issues about women's empowerment and girls' education. We embody that vision she has for her role. Harry told her he would relay the message back that he had met me out here. That was awesome of him to say. Speaking in his position as president of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, Harry addressed a gathering of young people hosted by Circa Zambia, a social enterprise to help train young people in skills like acrobatics. I see the great strides you are taking every day in the service of others and how lives and communities are being impacted by this work, Harry said. And I can see the satisfaction you get from it too, which is fantastic. When you give, you receive so much more, something which each of you seem to know intrinsically. On our recent visit to Fiji, Tonga, New Zealand and Australia, my wife and I met so many young people who were quite literally changing the lives of their communities with innovative, creative ideas and quality leadership. I also know that for far too long, you and other young leaders have struggled to secure funding, recognition and support, despite all the important work you're doing. Too often funders and investors miss what you're doing because they can't find you or see what you're achieving. As a result, opportunities for both parties are lost. We established the Queen's Commonwealth Trust to be your platform. And he left a good impression. Every young person was wild and ignited where they felt we can go away and do this, says Mira Moa. Last year when they launched the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, Alongside his grandmother one of the things they committed to doing was to champion young people and ensure young people are connected with the resources that they need to be able to do the work and for him to use his voice to back young people. Today he lived up to his promise.